The national response to the death of George Floyd has forced the University of Texas to confront one of its greatest traditions. Some of its student athletes are pushing UT to drop its famous school song, The Eyes of Texas, calling that song racist. The campaign has sparked a furious backlash from some alumni, and we're about to hear the results from an investigation into the song's origin. Janet Chamlian got an early look, and first on CBS This Morning, she spoke to the president of the University of Texas at Austin. It's a big story. Janet, good morning to you. Tony, good morning. CBS News has an advanced copy of the report, which failed to find any racist intent in the lyrics. So if the school says, for now, the song will stay. <laughs> The Eyes of Texas is set to the tune I've Been Working on the Railroad and has been sung for decades at everything from UT graduation ceremonies to Longhorn football games. But a growing chorus says the school song is inappropriate. Students like Kevin Roberts want it dropped. When you hear The Eyes of Texas, what do you think? I think of uh, the horrible history that the song was built upon. I think that the song um, is not inclusive to the university. Many deep-pocketed alumni donors feel differently. They've sent more than 300 emails to UT advocating for the song. One law school grad writing, UT needs rich donors who love the eyes of Texas more than they need one crop of irresponsible and uninformed students or faculty who won't do what they are paid to do. Texas Tribune reporter Kate McGee obtained the emails. Do you think there's a disconnect between the alums and the students? I think there is a disconnect between understanding um, the idea of making sure people feel included on a campus versus alumni. You know, the sentiment that I heard from these email in these emails was one of really protecting the traditions that they really hold dear and love. They don't speak for the voices of the vast majority of our alumni base or our community. We sat down with University of Texas Austin President Jay Herzl and Richard Reddick, who chaired the Committee of Historians, Students and Alumni, who documented the song's history after calls for its removal. Are you saying that the donor emails did not factor into your decision, that there was no pressure? Because fundraising is important for any school. Yeah. Those hateful emails that people are pointing to had no bearing whatsoever on my decision to keep the song or to launch the committee and do this work. The University of Texas in 1903 was in the Jim Crow South. It was very much part of the context of the time, so it was certainly a racist environment. The omission and the lack of participation from African Americans is a real thing that has to be sort of uh, grappled with. The report finds concerns over the song's possible racist origins stem from its debut in a minstrel show, likely by students wearing blackface. The Eyes of Texas was thought to be an adaptation of a quote from Confederate General Robert E. Lee, the eyes of the South are upon you. The report found a very low likelihood the line originated from Lee. President Hartzell says those findings give him no reason to revisit the decision. I'm sure the report will change some people's views about the song, but I also am sure that we won't all agree either. Many students have no issue with this song, and they consider it, in fact, a point of pride. But it is complicated. Among the dozens of recommendations in the report coming out today is to teach the history of the song and encourage difficult conversations about the song and about race. Those are talks that some students say they've been trying to have for months. Guys. Janet, just to be clear, it's not about the objection is not about the lyrics in the song. It's more about the origin of the song itself, correct? That's correct. The committee found there's no intent, there's no racist intent in the song, but it came about at a time, it was performed at a time, it was a racist environment, and some of the people who performed it were likely to have been in blackface. Right. Janet Chamley, and thank you, Janet.